What's up guys, welcome to another video. And as I mentioned, we've got some cool stuff coming up on this channel and if you haven't paid attention to the last three or four videos, I don't know how much cooler it's going to get because that's some pretty cool stuff. And we're just going to keep that boulder rolling down the hill and just picking up momentum because now we're going to be taking a look at a project that is near and dear to my heart and then we're going to make a bar project. Um, and the first part of this is the Bartesian and this is, consider it the Keurig for alcoholics. No, I'm just kidding. Really, it's the, it does have a Keurig style, because you're going to use a little pod to make your favorite cocktails on demand. It's a, it's a mechanical smart bartender, right? Electronic bartender, basically, right? Um, so you're going to fill all these different um, containers with your favorite spirits, and just depending on what pod you buy, is the spirits that you'll have installed. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just pause it. You don't need to watch me unbox this, but I'm just going to take all of this stuff out of this box. Again, Artesian Premium Cocktails on Demand. Make the perfect cocktail. Insert the cocktail capsule. Select the strength and press mix. Creates the cocktail in seconds. You can see here it's crafted with fresh Real ingredients, premium cocktails on demand, so in, in, intelligent cocktail creation, easy to clean, variety without complexity, freshness dated capsules, premium glass bottles, that's your spirits containers basically. And you can read our story at bartesian.com and it says here does cocktails, so that's I can't read that, that's not my language, so this is what it is here. Professional mixologist crafted and approved cocktails in seconds. Recyclable cap capsules contain high quality ingredients, which is usually your mixes, your bitters, stuff like that. Automatic rinse cycle keeps drinks tasting their best. And you know, say you make something with gin, you probably don't want half something to come along and that you've made with bourbon and have that bourbon flavor in your gin drink. Just saying. And so it also has barcode reading technology that ensures the perfect cocktail every time. So let's go ahead and unbox this, put it all out here. We'll go through what all comes in the box, how it all works, and we'll make a cocktail. And then we'll continue on with our bar project series. Cool. Let's do it. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have unboxed it. I've got it all sitting out here. Now, of course, all this didn't come in that box. You wish that they provided some of their capsules and the liquor spirits, but no, I added that to the table here um, to kind of prep, right? Because we're going to get this bad boy up and running. So in the box, basically, you get your adapter, power, right? Your unit right here. All comes nice and uh, packed. I haven't uh, taken everything off yet. And then you get your five spirit containers. And what I'm going to have to do is go wash these out. And then I'm going to fill them with my choice of spirits. All right. Now, they were running a promotion. This is, actually, they did not send this to the channel. This is something I spent my own money on. But they were running a promotion at the time uh, that they would include a uh, free capsule. So this was the classic collection cocktail mix. So I did pick this up. Um, on a promotion. So always look. I'll have a link in the show notes for this, but watch their sales, watch their promotions. They tend to have the holiday sales. I mean, I just had one with St. Patrick's Day just a few days ago. Um, don't know if they'll have one for Easter, but you know, the Easter Bunny needs to get tipsy here and there too, so that would be a recommendation. Um, anyway, so, and when you're choosing your spirits, you can definitely choose your taste, what you want, but um, I Typically, when I'm doing drinks like mixes and stuff like that, I don't put my best of uh, spirits in there. Like, for instance, I figured the bourbon, I love Maker's Mark. This isn't a hugely pricey uh, whiskey, um, but, you know, like, I wouldn't put Blanton's in there, right? So, um, pick and choose. You know, there's a lot of different vodkas. There's a lot of different gins, a lot of different rums. Um, you don't have to go all in on a vodka like I did Absolute and um, Beef Eater Gin, um, 
you know, so pick your pick your spirits as you want. But then we're gonna load up. Now these are kind of cool because this says vodka. I don't know if you can see it kind of back airways, but vodka. We got gin, we got whiskey, we got tequila, which ooh, ooh, ooh missing the tequila. I'll have to get that. And we got rum. Now, what you can do, I've got two kinds of rum over here, so sometimes people prefer spiced and some people prefer just regular old rum. So I do have like the uh, Bacardi white rum, basically. And then I have the Captain Morgan spiced. Um, but I'm gonna have to get a tequila, because obviously I'm gonna have to swap the rum out, because I don't wanna put, I don't wanna mix spirits. So that's one thing you may, you know, yeah, you can wash these in their dishwasher safe, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I'll have to look in the instructions. But um, yeah, I wouldn't wanna put certain spirits in reusable. Like, I wouldn't wanna keep rum in this and then switch it out with tequila. Just me, okay? That probably wouldn't be the best thing. Now, what do you get in the bookwise instructions? You get a, please note you may see water droplets inside your machine. Uh, you get a little congratulations on being a new owner. And you get an instruction manual. And then you get a attention, the duckbill air valve within the spirit bottles is made of silicone rubber. When setting for a long period of time, the valve can stick in a closed position. So just a couple, couple disclaimers of water and the duckbill valve in these containers. Which if you don't know what I'm talking about, is like the duckbill valve here, I guess. So anyway. So we're going to pause the video again. And I'm going to go clean this up. We're going to get this plugged in. See, it's just like a Keurig. So I told you, it's just like a Keurig for alcoholics. So we're going to put in our capsule. Um, I don't know, we'll pick uh, this one here. It has a whiskey sour, a margarita, an old-fashioned, a Long Island iced tea, a Cosmo, and Uptown Rocks. So those are my six cocktail capsules that came in this. So we'll have to pick. Um, if I don't have a tequila, obviously I'm not going to do a margarita. Um, so... We'll pick and choose, and then we'll make a drink, all right? And then we'll see how it tastes. So, I'm gonna pause the video again, gonna maintenance these, get this powered up, maybe read a little bit of the instructions, make sure I'm not gonna mess this up on the first run, and we'll be right back, guys. Hope you're enjoying. The duck bill. They're talking about. Make sure that opens. Some alcohol is a little stickier because it's sugary based. So always make sure if you're filling and refilling your bottles that your little duck bill is open. Well, you can squeeze it and it opens. That's your duck bill. Remember, we talked about it right here. That's your warning. Tequila. Can it's your choice of what I'll call you one. Smells like a cheap drunk in here. Well, maybe not cheap. Making love to his tonic and gin. If I uh, wouldn't get a copyright strike, that'd be a great song to be playing right about now. You're kind of also seeing how each canister here holds by volume. Like, here's a whole bottle of gin. Yep. A little bottle of gin. So we're going to put the piece on here. Put the tequila. Now remember, these lids ugh, 
have a name. Let's see it, gin. Hopefully it's focused. So we'll put the gin here. Now it's gonna show the vodka. We're just gonna put in the vodka container here. See? This back one is gin and rum. So we'll take the not the tequila. We'll take the gin. Let's take a look at our, our pods. And we're, the first one we're gonna do, let's do the old fashioned. So let's go ahead and open this up. And the old fashioned is right here. So it says alcohol volume edition for old fashioned mocktail. Uh, zero ounce, light, 1.4, regular, 2 ounce, strong, 3.4 ounce. So that's going to be your options on here um, of what you want. So we'll actually take the old fashioned. As you can see here, that's what it looks like in the pod. So this is says best with Jim Beam Black. Okay. Well, we're going to use Maker's Mark. So again, to each their own. So we'll go ahead and put the gin back here where this one splits splits its time between rum and gin okay and then we've got tequila and whiskey over here so we'll take the tequila make sure our lids on we'll put the tequila back here there we go got to just push it down just a little bit and make sure it gets into place oh damn we have to deal with the maker's mark wax Pause video. All right, that didn't take long. They've made these better. Get to the last drop. Maker's mark. Get it all. My recycle guy's gonna think I'm a major alcoholic. So we'll go ahead and put this on. And the whiskey. Lid. Whiskey. And we'll attach it back here. We just push it in. And we're we're set. So we'll just insert the capsule. But I gotta do the first thing first. Now we've cleaned up uh, all the bottles. And we filled the water reservoir. Now, for first use, though, it says to not put in a capsule and let's run some water through it. So we're going to do that. And I don't know if I'll film it or not, but we'll be right back. So we will film or uh, do a clean cycle. And yes, you have these installed, but without a barcode on this capsule here, it's going to know I don't want to use any spirits. So it's just going to run water through it without a capsule and do a clean cycle. So we'll do that, we'll be right back. All right, we're gonna go Blair Witch and go mobile here so I can get a good heads down view of the screen. So plug it in, we're gonna say first use. Ensure the water reservoir has water. Press the W above, it does. And we're priming her and cleaning her. And we should be good to go as it runs. Says it only needs an eight ounce. We got it. Insert your capsule, close the lid. So we would do that and make our drink, which is right here. So we'll be right back, guys. All right, you crazy kids, let's rock this thing. Here we go. Gonna close the lid, click. Says here, place a low ball glass with ice under the dispenser. Well, I'm gonna shake it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna say next. And now we get spirit strength, mocktail, light, regular, strong. I'm just gonna go regular. Mix. Mix. All right. You can see the whiskey. Hey, it's a curry for alcoholics. All right. Drip, 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 drip. So again, read that barcode. I didn't have to have these other spirits even plugged in because after I read that barcode, it said 
Hey, I'm only going to use whiskey. I could have actually had those all out and just had the whiskey in. I'm going to put that on the bar mat. And I'll pour it out. And I do want the ice. Look at that. Whiskey. So this is an old fashioned. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. That is a pretty dang good old fashioned. Yeah. Now, at this point, feel free to add whatever little condiments, you know, cherry, I don't know, whatever you want to add. You can do that after the fact. Make it look like you just got this at a bar. Um, really, really good stuff. You can see it's dripping just a little bit. Waste not, want not, especially on the alcohol. Uh, so, very, very cool. Um, also, when you do a spirit switch out, this is the main one that you'd switch out. Uh, there's a thing on here you can say, hey, I'm going to switch the spirit. It'll flush that, and then you can put in your new spirit. So you don't combine, like, this one I think is gin and rum. So you don't want to do that. Now, I would refrigerate your pods. Um, so, these are cold too. If you don't want to use ice, this this would be good to refrigerate your pods. And again, this is the classic collection. So we've got a whiskey sour, margarita, and you can see they put little fancy stuff, lime, lemon, cherry, you know, little orange peel things here. You can use different glasses. I got a low ball. This is kind of a low ball glass, I said, I guess. As you can see, it's starting to calm down with the the uh, brew. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Tasty. I was like, just like you get at a bar. Guys, so good. Um, anyway, again, you don't have to shake. You could stir. I just dropped my shaker. Check the show notes. I'll have a link for this stuff. Um, obviously not the alcohol, especially if you're uh, underage. Um, and if you're underage, why are you watching this? Shame. You shouldn't be watching this. This isn't kid-friendly material, okay? So don't be watching this if you're, you're a minor, okay? Bad, bad. Rewind, forget you saw this. If you like this video, though, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, hit the alarm button up there because, man, we're releasing some kick butt content here coming up. If this is a kick butt, a smart alcohol drink maker, technology at its best, come on, I don't know what is. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Thank you.